Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome back to my scroll saw workshop. Going to make another video tonight to continue in the series of videos that we've been doing talking about how to create scroll saw patterns in CorelDRAW X5. Like I've mentioned in the earlier videos, uh, CorelDRAW X4 will work fine with these tutorials as well as some of the earlier versions of CorelDRAW. However, the user interface has changed a little bit over the years and uh, you may have to uh, do a little adjusting in how we do things. In one of the last videos, we talked about taking a silhouette bitmap graphics, in other words, a black and white image, into CorelDRAW and turning it into a vector graphic so we were able to combine it with the rest of the uh, scroll saw pattern that we wanted to make out of it. And that works really well as long as the image is black and white. You can get a nice outline of that image using Power Trace. Uh, Power Trace, however, doesn't work so well when you have an image like you see on the screen right now uh, because it has all these colors in it and it will not create a nice outline of the graphic for you. So there are times when you actually have to go in and hand trace the image to get it into uh, the pattern you want to use and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to hand trace this image uh, and then create a scroll saw pattern out of it. Okay, I'm going to take my zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on this graphic real close and I want to talk about what we're going to do. We're going to create a little toy car uh, that we'll add some wooden wheels to and uh, that way you can uh, make these for younger children. And I'm going to make this out of actually three different pieces of wood. I'm going to power, I'm going to hand trace the front bumper or the wheel well, the back wheel well, and this little foot rest right here. Then we'll duplicate that for the back side of the car. Then we're going to trace the outline of this little VW and we'll put those all three together to uh, make a scroll saw pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and under the freehand tool I'm going to select the pen tool. And for this pattern I think we'll start out with the front and back wheel well and this little foot, uh, foot rest right here. So let's go ahead and start right here with our pen tool and click. And you're going to notice as I go around this pattern that I'm going to do this very roughly. I'm not going to try to conform to the curves or anything and we'll come back uh, after we get it traced and uh, edit it to where it looks right. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to move to the back. I'm just going to move up here closer to the top of this wheel well. Let's say right here. We'll move over here to this part of the wheel well down here to the top of the foot uh, rest straight across over to the front wheel well just like we're doing. I think we'll go ahead and make this little cutout for the uh, headlight. And then we'll move down to the bottom of the wheel well right here across, up, across, back down to the bottom of the car straight across to the other wheel. Let's go up to here across to here and you'll notice when we get back to the beginning point if you look at the bottom if you look at this pin cursor as I move across the very first node you'll see there's a little O appears to the right bottom of the pin tool when that O appears it means I'm over the top of the first node and when I click it's going to complete this drawing so I click and I missed it let me click again I clicked and now we've got a complete drawing that we can actually go up here and select a color and uh, you know, make it a color. Now you can see that this uh, side to the car is very roughly shaped and we need to go in and make it con uh, contour to all the curves we have. So to do that, with it selected, if we go up here to our shape tool, click on that, that will bring up our interactive bar up here, menu bar, that allows us to select the different features of the shape tool. In this case, I'm going to go up here to select all nodes and again, a node is the beginning and end of a line. So there's one line, a node, a line, and a node, and a line. And each one of these straight lines we need to turn into a curve so we can shape them around the contour of this bumper, or of this wheel well. So I'm going to click on select all nodes. That makes all of them selected. So every line in between every node is now selected. Then I can go over here to convert to curve because we want to convert each one of these straight lines into a curve. When I click on that, you don't see anything happen, but what happened is that gave us the ability 
to drag these straight lines into curves. So if I come to this top of this back wheel well, you can see the bottom right of the cursor shows a little curvy line. That means we're over the top of that line and it's a curve and we can drag it to change the shape. So I use my left mouse button and I'm going to click this curve up to conform to this back wheel well. Same thing here, same thing here. We'll leave this straight of course. I'm going to grab this wheel well, get the shape of it like we want it. And again, this is going to be the front headlight, so I think I'll pull this back in just a little bit. And let's grab this part of the wheel well and bring it out to there. And at the top of the wheel, I think I'll make this transparent so we can see it a little better. And I can grab this line, make it conform to the top of where the wheel is. Same thing over here. Same thing in the back. And let's do with the front wheel well. Let's get it shaped the way we want it. Now we can fill it back in with a gray color and see if it looks like we want. And it's pretty close. I might have this just a little off here so we can grab this and maybe make it a little better looking right there. And if some of these curves don't look the way you want, you can actually click on the individual node and you'll get these little arrows sticking out and you can grab these arrows and shape just from that particular node. So this one I think is a little rough right here. We need to move this node up a little bit, pull this out, pull this down. Let's zoom in on that and see what that looks like because it looks a little rough. So I grab my zoom tool and you can see we've got a little bit of a bump there. So I'm going to grab my shape tool here and try to reform this a little better. I'm going to grab this arrow, pull that up just a little. I'm trying to get this more rounded than I had it. And you can see I did a much better job there. And up here at the top, it looks like we've still got a little bit of a hump, so I'm going to pull that down. That looks better. Slick on this node. Maybe stretch this out a little bit. No, nope, that didn't work. That was worse. And that looks pretty good. Let's move over to the other wheel well. See how we did on that. And you can see we've got the same thing going on here. So let's grab this curve and bring it down just a little bit. We could even grab this node and bring it up if we need to. And we could move this node over, this node up. And you can see I can just play with this until I get the shape like I want. I'm going to bring this back just a little bit. And this down just a touch. I think that's about what I want. So I'm going to go up here and grab my pick tool. I'm going to take this wheel well that we've made. I'm going to move it up here out of our way. So that'll be our front wheel well. To duplicate that, just select on it, hit the plus key on your keyboard, and you now have two of them. So we can move these to the side. That'll be our front and back wheel wells that we're going to use. Now what we need to do is zoom back in on the car and actually trace the car itself. So before I get uh, too far behind, I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. Uh, so I'm going to start right here. Click. I'm going to click here. I think I'm going to go straight across here because we'll need to make a place for our axle to go through. So let's go straight across. And I'm going to do this very quickly, kind of roughly. And straight back across to our beginning node, click, and that'll finish it up. Color it gray to see what we have. And that's pretty close to the shape we want. I'm going to go up here to our Shape tool, select All Nodes icon, Convert to Curves. And again, we can take these lines that we have and make them conform to the shape of this car. And we're not looking for perfection here because this is just a toy, uh, but we want to get it pretty close. So let's take this line, bump it up a little, and let's make this windshield bow out just a little. And that's pretty close to what we want. I'm going to make it transparent again. Now what we need to do is we're going to put the wheel wheels on in a minute, but we need to get the holes for the axles drawn. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use one quarter inch axles. So I'm going to draw a circle on the screen. I'm going to go up here to my uh, properties bar and I'm going to type in 0.25 for the uh, X axis, 0.25 for the Y axis, and that will make this hole exactly one quarter of an inch in diameter. So we can move this hole up here to where we want it to be. And we'll say right about there. Whoops, let me move it over a little bit with the arrow keys. I want it right about there because when I get the uh, one and one quarter inch wooden wheels that I'm going to use, I'm going to want them to fit in there. So we may have to uh, uh, experiment with that. Okay, with that hole selected, let's hit the plus key to create a new one. And then what we can do is we can move that, whoops, didn't get it duplicated. We put it back, hit the plus key. I'm going to hold down the shift and the right arrow key, and I'm going to move the second hole for the wheel axle back over here to the back wheel. And that looks about where we want it right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this shape back in so we can see what we're doing here. Let's make it a gray. And with this circle selected by clicking on it and clicking on the outline of the car, we can go up here to our front minus back tool that we learned earlier and we can drill that hole right in that, that circle or in that uh, car. So I'm going to do the same thing. So now we have, and let me zoom out here. Now if I take this image and move it away, you can see we've got the holes for the axles right here. And what we're actually going to do when we cut this out is we're going to put our little bumpers right here and let's move those to the front so we can see them. And that's what our car is going to look like. Now, when we get done, we're going to want to put these wooden wheels in here, which are about this size. So we got to make sure when we get this all lined up that the uh, wheel wheels get around the wheels like we want them. So we'll move this over, move this up. And let's zoom in on that and see what it's going to look like. And that's going to be pretty close. We might have to trim this down a little bit to get the wheels to fit, but that's going to be pretty close, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be real close right there, so that's good. Okay, so there's our toy car, and all cut out. All we have to do is cut this shape out, glue this wheel well on, making sure that when we glue it on there that uh, the wheels will fit over the axle hole, we can put our axle through there, and we've got our little car. Now what I'm going to do while I've got a couple more minutes left is I'm going to go ahead and cut these windshields out. So let's go ahead and back everything up until we can get our... I'm using my undo tool to get back here. may not have enough undo left, so I'm just going to move this back and get everything out of the way here. Line this up where we want it. And we'll make it transparent again. And while I've got another about a minute and a half here, I'm going to go ahead and cut out these windows. So I'm going to take my pen tool again. I'm going to zoom in on the windows. And I'm going to cut these out also. So we'll go straight across, up there, down. Take our shape tool. Whoops, I think I missed there. Let's do that again. We'll go straight across up, move our pen tool down over our node, click, shape tool, select all nodes, convert to curves, make that a curve. Now with our pick tool, we can select that plus the outline of the car. We can do our front minus back and it cut that piece out. And I'll show you that here in just a minute because I'm about to run out of video time. Shape tool, select all nodes, convert to curve, curve the back window up. Pick tool, that's selected, convert, click on the outline, front minus back. Let's go back to full screen, move our picture out of the way. There's our little car. And I'll go ahead and put everything together and show you a finished picture in the blog post. Uh, so that's, that's the way you use the uh, hand outline to trace a pattern. I'm Steve Good. Sorry I ran out of time here so quick, but uh, that's the way it is on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video.